Who are we without each other? Our relationship to each other gives us significance. It is the unfortunate comparison to others that gives us our sense of self. If I were the only man alive and I went and climbed Mount Everest, it would seemingly be just another hike without knowing of the thousands of others who had tried and failed. I digress. When I started riding bikes, I found a sense of self within the community of people I rode with. I was and am still proud to know them. Though I now live in North Idaho, I still consider the people of LA my cycling family. Admittedly, I'm a better socialite when there's activity involved. At any random bar or social environment, I tend to succumb to boredom, something I'm working on still. But when setting out on a three plus hour ride with friends, there's no need to hurry conversation. There's no rush to get to know someone. The pressure is only in the tires. I'm a firm believer that I'm a product of the people that surround me. As such, I do my best to be intentional with who I am surrounded by. Especially in a city like LA, where dreams turn into careers, and it only takes a block or two to go from the slums to the mansions. The bike is the great equalizer. You can ride alongside a world-renowned chef, a famous actor, a Hall of Fame NBA player, and a local accountant, all in the same ride. Somehow, the popular conversation of status and net worth dissipates into the background as grown-ass adults take back slivers of their youth one pedal stroke at a time. I like to believe that within those moments, the groundwork of a truer, more genuine, loving community is being laid. In the middle of shooting this series, I lost a friend and the cycling world lost a stronghold. Panda, as we called him, died tragically while on his bike. He was hit by a car. I thought about leaving that detail out, but I think it's important to not pretend that I'm unaware of the dangers that come with cycling. I'm aware, Panda was aware, but we still choose to ride because it's life-giving. If we aim to avoid all the beautiful but dangerous things that give us life, we aren't living, only dying. And so far, no one has beat death. It will come for us all eventually. I believe it is a far greater tragedy to live safely in bubble wrap and die from complications of living than to die while truly seeking life. <laughs>